guys, today I'm going to review the REC7 which is, was available for GP this week. Um, I'd like to tell you that the stats are very similar to the ACR, M416, and um, M4s. As you can see, it only has changed recoil and portability. The CQB has more portability and better recoil and has a slightly less in, uh, damage. As you can see, I'm about to level to first lieutenant, which is very good. And I did not review the AA-12 because I just didn't find the time to last week. I will review that PP-19 camel, most likely, if I'm not busy tomorrow. The P90 TR is about to expire also. And the AK74M gold plated. I will review it just because I find that there's no need to keep it in my inbox since it's basically the same as the normal AK74M. And please, any hackers or anyone that has hacked that's watching my video, please stop hacking or even think about it because. I've been opening great high sex just to get a lead recently. Roger that. And this is probably my third time making this review. I do not care if I get OPK again, I will stop because I've been frustrated for the past few days with hackers. Okay. Off the bat I will tell you that the RAC has quite low recoil. Not as low as the M4s like M416 CQD or M4A1 but the reload speed and draw speed is faster than these guns. The portability even though it's not as fast as the M416 is actually quite well and the recoil pattern even though the recoil is not much higher is it feels much higher than the M416 because if you go full auto, the scope will go out of control and pretty much you won't do that. See, I bursted that. That is usable as burst mode, as the cap firing if you want. And also, the spread for the REC is very good. It does not get out of hand like the AUG or TAR. And the accuracy is average for an assault rifle. A plus side for the REC is probably just its fast reload and draw speed. I find it hard to hit long range shots, but it's very good for mid range and close range combat because of its high fire rate and great spread and low recoil. Um, the REC7, I do not recommend to buy with NX just because, not that it's a bad gun, but there are many other NX guns that are much better. Like, off the bat, I will tell you that the M416 CQB feels so much better than the REC. This might just be because I use the CQB more and longer, so I'm more used to it. See there, I just won't pull auto and move it down. And the great spread. The REC7 was actually, I thought, one of the best guns for when it came out. But when I picked it up, I was disappointed with its high, or not high recoil, but I thought of it to be much lower than it is. I thought it would have a CQB's recoil and increased damage. The REC for modifications, you cannot add a scope and I don't recommend silencers. Of course, I will always say I recommend a S3 suppressor than the others because the S1 and S2 actually changed the recoil pattern. I did not know about the S2 changing the recoil pattern until recently. 
where I added it to my G36 and I could notice it go at a diagonal angle. The REC plus sides are its also its portability. It's above average for assault rifle. Um, I'll probably end the review soon because I've covered pretty much all the stats for this. Um, sorry guys, I've been having allergies recently. And also, I have been making my montage recently, so that's why I haven't been posting up reviews recently. I've also found out that my old clanmate from well, one of my original clans, Satsumi, uh, makes reviews too. You should subscribe to him. Uh, his name is Epic Gaming. Um, subscribe to him if you want. And I get bumped. Well, the REC is a great gun has average damage for a sorry rifle, high fire rate, low recoil, great spread, good portability, and average accuracy. Even though these stats are actually very great, there are many other guns that are better. I find it similar to the ACR in my opinion because stat wise it's a great gun and it's not a bad gun. But there are just so many other guns better. And the REC, I just find that I cannot get the long shots, which is very annoying. This is why I use the V36, just because you get the long shots so much easier. I've also downloaded Fraps recently, but it lowers my FPS too much, so I will still use Xfire Recording. Perhaps has lowered my FPS to 12, which is like almost unplayable for me. I can play at 30 because that's what I normally play at, which is still pretty bad because most people play at 30 FPS. Thank you. Bye.